Welcome back. We have Dr. John Hovenessian here on behalf of Harvard Eye Associates. Well, welcome back. Nice <laughs> to see great you. Great to be here, Lisa. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now, um, you know, we talk about a lot of different diseases with the eyes, treatments, um, warnings. I mean, I think the last few times you've been here, we've been a lot about warnings. Yeah. So what, what, is, what is our concern today? Well, there's probably no disease that invokes more fear in aging people than uh, macular degeneration mm. because it's a really awful disease that causes irreversible uh, loss of, blind, uh, of vision, of detail vision. Okay. And uh, most people who know about it know that it's, uh, you know, it affects the very center of vision. So if you're looking at a, a page of text, uh, you can see everything on the page except the words you want to read. Right? Mm. It affects just that central part of what you're looking at. Okay. And that's what makes it such a cruel disease, and that's what makes it so feared. Uh, so what's new, and we'll talk about, is a, a new treatment. In fact, the first treatment that's FDA approved for treating the dry form of the disease, which is much more common than the, uh, than the wet form of disease we have treatments for. Okay. All right. So that's, that's exciting. Um, so what, what is the difference between the two? Great question. So. Uh, macular degeneration has a couple different forms. In, in broad terms, there's the, the, the dry form and there's the wet form. In the dry form, and we have a picture that shows it here, uh, we see uh, waste products that are deposited in the retina. And in its mildest form, it looks, it's kind of hard to see actually, it's, uh, because even if you have a good big screen and, uh, and, and clear image, there's just little soft looking white spots uh, underneath the retina. And what, what, what the green circle around, is around there is the macula, which is the center of the retina. It's where our detail vision comes from. Okay. And that slight darkened area indicates uh, where that is for you. So you see these white spots, and they really may not have any effect, effect on vision. As it progresses to be more moderate disease in the second picture there, uh, you'll see uh, some loss of vision. And maybe on the eye chart, one or two lines of, instead of being correctable to 2020, the, the patient might be uh, 2030 or right. something like that. Right. Um, as that disease progresses, it can cause more damage to vision, but usually is a slow process. Now, the wet form of the disease uh, is very different because in the wet form, we have breaks in the, the, oh. the structure underneath the retina, and oh. there's leakage of fluid and sometimes leakage of blood. That dark red mass you see toward the top of that picture is blood that's underneath the retina. Now, this is quite a dramatic picture. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times, it's much more small and central uh, right in the center. Uh, for this, though, we have treatments, and we've had them for a number of years. And okay. uh, there are literally millions of Americans who get monthly or sometimes every two or three month visits to the eye doctor to receive injections in the eye. They're not oh. painful of medicine that will st uh, stop the forward progress of the disease I and see. can restore or at least improve vision over what it would be if we didn't have treatment. Right. Can, uh, can I ask you a question? Let's go back yeah. to the other dry slides yeah. again because. The little dots that you were talking about that yeah. are white, you said it was waste. What is that from? Yeah, it's cellular waste products. So over the course of our lives, uh, our cells uh, have you know certain waste products that they produce, lipofusion okay. and, and cholesterol, often accumulate in tissues. And we see this in other parts of the body as well. <laughs> in the eye, we get to visualize microscopically what's happening. And so um, that's what these are. We call them drusen, D-R-U-S-E-N, these little spots in the back of the eye. Okay. And usually they're not much cause for alarm, but they're an indication of aging and right. of a process that can lead to macular degeneration. Right, so. and, and that's why you guys do these, the extensive eye exams that you do because right. you're going to see something right. before we ever would see anything. That's right. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, a good look at the eye right. is the best way to detect this. Okay. And it's part of a, of a complete eye exam anytime you see a qualified eye doctor, whether at our practice or anywhere, if they're doing a complete exam and a retina exam, they'll be looking for this. Okay. What, uh, go ahead. <laughs> well, um, and then on the, the other picture that we were talking about, the wet, so you said that that was blood, the dark, the dark part. And how does that happen? Is that just an, an aging thing? Yeah, so on a microscopic level, deep beneath the retina, there's breakdown in the integrity of the membrane that supports the, 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 the base cells of the retina. Okay. And when breaks occur in that membrane, it can allow blood vessels to leak through, it can allow fluid to leak through. Okay. Uh, and those blood vessels are fragile and they break. And okay. that can lead to just leaking fluid, like plasma fluid, or it can lead to blood red blood that is leaking and that blood and that plasma over time is damaging to the retina and causes scar tissue to form that destroys vision God. in the central part. Yeah. Okay. And we see a similar process. It's, it doesn't involve a breakage of the membrane, but actually loss of the supporting uh, layer of cells mm -hmm. in the geographic form of disease. So here's a picture that shows the geographic form 
Uh, so just for reference, you see the moderate and the mild, uh, and the and uh, wet on yeah. the left. But in the geographic form of disease, you can almost see that yellowish shape that's in the center of the vision there, in the center of the macula, almost looks like geography, looks like a country, oh, like sure. a continent, right? And that's why it's called oh, that. Yeah. It has defined borders. Mm -hmm. Now around it, outside of it, you'll see some of those yellow spots. There are drusen as well in this picture. Mm -hmm. But the geographic atrophy represents loss of uh, the actual basement cells that support the retina, what we call the retinal pigment epithelium. When that goes bad, uh, it, it really, the retina can't function well above it. I see. And so uh, that occurs in progressive ways. It occurs often in both eyes and will progress to involve central vision mm. at some point. Mm -hmm. And for this, we have a new treatment, and that's the exciting news that uh, oh, our whole profession is. For, is ge fair, for geographic or, for geographic or all atrophy. Three. Yeah, so geographic atrophy is a part of dry macular degeneration. Okay. Uh, and for that subset, we now have a treatment uh, that is called Cyphovri, um, or uh, Pegcetacoplan is the name of the <laughs> compound. They couldn't and make it any easier. To I say. really, you know, I, I think it's great. I, what I like about the word is it has taco hidden in the middle of it. <laughs> Peg set a co plan. You don't even yes, say the taco. Yes, it does, doesn't it? We say, yes. oh yeah, we want the taco plan. We want the, ta the taco plan, that's right. <laughs> so uh, peg set a co plan is a new treatment that uh, from a company called Apellus, who's been working on this for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And they had an FDA study that involved 1,200 patients. That's a that's big a study. One, yeah. So we have good data that showed that with both once a month and with every two month uh, injections, the, uh, the forward progress of the disease was halted in most cases. Wow. And in fact, it had a building effect. So the benefit of the drug didn't wear off with time. It actually got stronger with time. Oh, so continued treatment was, uh, with it seems to be very promising. Okay. So what this means for the future is that if you have macular degeneration and you've been told in the past that there is not a treatment for it, it's worth asking your eye doctor. It's worth mm -hmm. getting an updated exam to right. find out if you have geographic atrophy. If you're one of the patients who has geographic atrophy and still has good vision, this drug may be particularly helpful for you. If you have geographic atrophy and you've always already lost vision, uh, significant vision in both eyes, there may not, it may not help that much right. because it really doesn't reverse the disease, it stops the forward progression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you have geographic atrophy and you know it, you ought to be talking to your eye doctor about whether this new drug would be appropriate because it's a, it is great. a breakthrough for us. Now that is available now. It is available now. It is just becoming available. So okay. in the in the coming weeks, it should be covered by insurance. Thank although goodness. all these drugs are expensive, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. we don't receive any uh, you know financial benefit from selling a drug. Um, but and and there will be another drug uh, that uh, is uh, going to uh, be coming. We we hope perhaps later this year from another company, and it's got an equally difficult name uh, to uh, <laughs> pronounce. We'll tell you more about that when it's approved. Right. But right. if you read about this, you'll know there's at least two companies that are okay. uh, working toward it. Well, that's fantastic. And also, you know, you wonder when things are going to reverse. Like you said, I mean, there's so many different diseases of the eye that wouldn't yeah. it be great if we could just do an injection and have it reverse, uh, especially for this particular disease, because it doesn't seem like you really can do very much about it. No, and that's, you know, for years we've been saying we hope to have treatments for dry macular degeneration in the future. Well, the future for at least geographic yeah. atrophy is now. So we are excited. And uh, people listening should know that the injections don't hurt. It's scary to think about injections in your eye, but it's far, far better than losing vision. Well, you numb, right? And then you can't feel it. We oh. do. My own father-in-law is a patient who has macular degeneration who receives injections for the wet form of disease. And, you know, it's a, it's a nice excuse to come closer to us uh, where he can, <laughs> he can have lunch with the family. Aww. So it's not a bad event uh, okay, when it good. happens. Every month or two good. it, it, it All happens. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. I love the information. Thank you so much. It's exciting new, new stuff. It's great. You, you just keep coming back and tell us about all those good things. Happy to do that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Always good to see you. You too. If you want more information about anything that we have discussed or you just have questions, you can always call uh, Harvard Eye at harvardeye.com for their website and call them at 949-951-2020. We'll be right back.